Right, I thought I'd give you uh, Met fans a little bit of a baseball taste here. This is a Stratomatic baseball. Um, I'm replaying the 2019 season, and I'm human managing the Mets. You can see that uh, they're off to a pretty good start, 10 and 4, first place. Those Atlanta Braves, 3 and 11. And uh, if you're not familiar with Stratomatic baseball, it um, it uh, uses dice to replicate the uses the actual stats of the players and it's got most a lot of everything so we're playing the sunday april 14th game uh jacob de grom on the mound for the mets against julio Tejeron. and uh, we're going to go ahead and play here and let's see yep yeah, that's that's going to be our mets lineup and uh i'm using the as played function so the as played function uses the actual lineups and actual 25-man rosters for each game. There is the Braves lineup, and uh, here we go. And uh, all the defensive ratings of the players, uh, one is great range, five is not so good. And uh, here's Brandon Nimmo. Uh, he's off to, uh, he's hitting 233 so far with uh one home run, three RBIs, so, and we're going to try to beat the shift with Mr. Nimmo here, and the first roll is a 5-6, which is a ground ball to second base defensive, so Ozzy Albies, and there you go, Albies makes the play for out number one, and I'm going to hang back. Pete Alonzo, off to a little bit of a slow start, hitting 182. One homer, two RBIs, two weeks into the season. And we're going to swing away with Pete Alonzo. And he walks. And he's been doing a lot of that so far this year. Um, Robinson Cano is hitting 281, one homer, nine RBIs in the early going. And here's the pitch. And it's a ground ball to third, a force out. And uh, that brings up Conforto. Conforto, 286, one homer, nine RBIs. And he draws a walk. So two out for Wilson Ramos. He's off to a slow start, 143. Two homers, seven RBIs. And the pitch, it's a ground ball to short. So two walks, but nobody on. And Atlanta comes to bat. Jacob deGrom, 1-1 one one with a 278 ERA. He's got 28 strikeouts and 23 innings so far this year. And uh, Ozzy Albies hitting 200. One homer, four RBIs. And here's the pitch, and it is a strikeout of Albies. Here's Josh Donaldson now. Donaldson, 196 so far, but five homers, eight RBIs. And that is, that reading was single 1 to 11. You heard the split cards go. Or a line out 12 to 20, and uh, the split card was 17, so it's an out for Donaldson. Freddie Freeman is at 226, three homers and five RBIs. And uh, he swung away against the shift and it came up a home run. So Freeman with his fourth home run of the year. You hear the fans in Atlanta going crazy. They're like me, they're probably at the chop house getting another cold one. Here's Ronald Acuna. Acuna, 191, one homer, three RBIs, but seven stolen bases already. In fact, he had three stolen bases in, in the game yesterday. And the pitch, and Acuna strikes out, and that's the third out. So one run on one hit, we go to the top of the second. It's the Mets trailing Atlanta one to nothing. Jeff McNeil, 222, no homers, three RBIs so far. And uh, he's going to swing away, and he gets a double, swinging away versus the shift. So the way the shift works is you choose to either swing away or to try to beat the shift, and then the game... Um, determines at random whether or not you go to the card or it's another reading. So uh, Ahmed Rosario now batting. He has been the best Met so far. 448, three homers, 11 RBIs, and nine stolen bases. He's off to a great start this year. So here's Rosario versus Teheran. He hits a fly ball to center for out number one. J.D. Davis, 275, three homers, 12 RBIs. And the pitch is a ground ball to third for out number two. And uh, with two out, Mr. DeGrom will swing away. And he strikes out. So 
The leadoff double leads to nothing, and uh, at the end of one and a half, it's one to nothing Atlanta. All right, here's Nick Marcakis, 273, two homers, seven RBIs so far. And the pitch, four or five, one to six, a home run. It's a home run, and it's. We are going to the. If it lands right on the number, the six, then you go to the defend the defender's ability. Kid robbed the home run, but unfortunately Conforto couldn't come up with it. So it's a home run for Marcakis, and a two to nothing Atlanta. Johan Camargo now he hits a single, and en brings up Ender, Ender Enciarte, who's hitting 208, two home runs, ten RBIs. Camargo tried to get the lead to steal the base. And the pitch to Enciarte is a ground ball B, which is a force play. That's out number one. Tyler Flowers now, 091, one homer, two RBIs. And Enciarte also can't get the lead, but he decides to steal anyway. It's a 1-13 to chance that he gets the base, and he does steal it. So he's on second with one out for Flowers. And Flowers, 1-7 to is a single, otherwise a ground ball. So that's out number two. And that brings up Tehei Ron. Tehei Ron strikes out to the inning. So two to nothing, Atlanta at the end of two. Back to Brandon Nimmo at the top of the order. And uh, we're going to swing away with Nimmo this time, see what happens. And he draws a walk. Let's see. He's a 95% chance to steal if he can get the lead. 6% chance to get the lead. Let's see what happens. Can't get it. We're not going to go. So Pete Alonzo is going to take a swing here. And one to nine's a home run, and that is gone. The polar bear with number two of the year, and it is two to two. Robinson Cano being shifted against. We're going to swing away, and Cano hits a ground ball back to the mound. So despite being in the best possible column, it ends up being a ground out. Conforto, who just missed robbing that home run last inning, he lines out to the second baseman for out number two, and Wilson Ramos... One to five is a home run. Everything else a double. So it's a double for Ramos with two out. And here comes McNeil. McNeil swings, and it lands on the clutch hitting reading. The uh, the clutch hitting statistics are used to determine it can turn a hit into an out or an out into a hit. In that case, it turned an, a hit into an out. And so it's two to two in the middle of the third. All right. Back to the top of the Braves order with Ozzie Albies. He tried to hit into the shift, hit a ground ball to short. Donaldson swinging away and striking out. And now Freeman, who homered his last time up. This time he's going to hit a double with two out. And that brings up Acuna. And Acuna Jr., one to nine's a home run, and there it goes. Home run number two for Acuna. And uh, the Braves have put four on DeGrom today. They lead 4-2 to two with two out in the third. Nick Marcakis also homered his last time, and he strikes out to end the inning. So 4-2 to two at the end of the third inning. All right. Top of the fourth here is Ahmed Rosario. Ground ball to third. It goes on the defense, and there's the ratings for Mr. Donaldson. And comes up a ground ball and a ground out to Donaldson. J.D. Davis, he's going to swing away, and a single for Davis. Okay, he's got a 95% chance on the running, but it's a little difficult to get the lead for him, so we're not going to try. Mr. DeGrom is going to bunt him on over. Let's see what happens. 81% chance, and Tyler Flowers commits an error on the play. So now we have first and second and one out, and Nimmo, top of the order, strikes out for the second out, but that brings up Mr. Alonzo, who homered his last time. And this time, he draws a walk to load the bases for Cano. And we talk about that clutch hitting. You see the green readings there, the fives, um, that turned hits into outs, saying Cano was not a good clutch hitter last year. But you guys know that. You watched him all year. Let's see what he does here. No, one's a triple. Everything else is a single. It's a two-run single for Cano. We're tied at two. Excuse me, tied at four, and now Michael Conforto up with two out. And he hits one deep, and it is gone. A three-run home run, his second of the year, and it's now seven to four. The Mets with the lead over the Braves. Wilson Ramos up now, and uh, Dan Winkler is replacing Teheran. So Teheran out of the game with three and two-thirds innings. And uh, let's see what Wilson Ramos does against Winkler here. He strikes out to end the inning, but... 
a big five spot for the Mets in the top of the fourth. It's now seven to four. The Mets leading the Braves. All right, here we go. Camargo again. Singled his first time, and uh, he hits a ground ball to third. Uh, J.D. Davis, not a good fielder. That's pretty much about as bad as you can get. And However, Davis makes the play this time, so it's a ground out to third. One out. Ender Inciarte, 5-7 is a strikeout. And Tyler Flowers, he walks. And that brings up Winkler, and they let Winkler hit with two out, and it's a strikeout. So DeGrom... Puts a zero up, and uh, it's now seven to four here in the top of the fifth. So Jeff McNeil leading off, and see what happens. He's being shifted against. We're going to swing away with all those extra base hits on his card, but he strikes out. Rosario, Rosario one to twelve, a home run, and it is gone. Number twelve for Rosario, and it's now eight to four. The Mets leading Atlanta. JD Davis. He swings, and that's a base hit for Davis. So here's DeGrom, one out, and uh, we'll go ahead and move Davis on up to second base if we can, and it is. The sack works. So you can see Davis there at second again, and here's Nimmo with two out, and he draws a walk, and here's Alonzo again with runners on, eight to four already. New pitcher comes in for the Braves. Jacob Webb is the new pitcher. And uh, Webb this year so far, this is his first appearance. But last year for the Braves, he went, and you see the statistics here, the, the gray is what they actually did last year. The gold is what they've done in the replay so far. And then the, uh, the red is what they've done in this game today. So you can see Webb was 4-0 with a 139 ERA for the Braves in 32 innings last year. So he's got a pretty tough card there. Here's the pitch to Alonzo. And uh, ground ball third base X. Donaldson again, very good. And Donaldson kicks it, and the bases are loaded for Cano. And uh, let's see what happens here. Robbie Cano with the bases loaded. Strikes out to end the inning. But another run for the Mets. It's now 8-4. to four. DeGrom so far today, we take a look at his numbers. Four innings, five hits, four earned runs, but he does have those seven Ks, even though he's allowed three home runs on the day. All right, here's Ozzy Albies, third time through the order, top of the fifth, and Albies strikes out, eighth K for DeGrom. Donaldson now, and Donaldson singles to center. Freddie Freeman now, who's two for two today, and Freeman strikes out, nine Ks for DeGrom now. You can see it's got his approximate pitch count, 71 pitches, and 111 is where they guess he would tire at. And uh, now here's Acuna, who's hit one of those three home runs today. And Acuna draws the two-out walk, and that brings up Nick Markakis. Markakis. 5-5 five, five is a strikeout. 10 Ks for Jake DeGrom. We're through five. Uh, we have an official ball game, and uh, thank you for getting me to the game on time, Mr. King. All right, here we go. Conforto facing Jacob Webb to start the sixth. We're going to swing away. I tend to swing away a lot of the times here, but Conforto draws the walk. That brings up Ramos. Ramos, 1-11 to is a base hit. He gets the hit. Conforto thinks about going for third. I think a 35% chance is not very good, so we're going to hold him. We'll leave first and second with nobody out for Jeff McNeil. And McNeil... One to two, a double. The rest is a single. 75% chance that uh, we'll, have a, we'll have Conforto score from third. We're going to send him. They cut off the throw, and it's an RBI single for McNeil. It's now 9-4. to four. The Mets lead the Atlanta Braves. 9-4. to four. All right. Here we go. Ahmed Rosario again. One for three. Homered already today. And uh, new pitcher is going to be A.J. Minter. Coming in to face Rosario, and 1-11 to is a base hit, and that loads him up for J.D. Davis. And here we go. 1-9 to is a home run. The rest would be a sack fly, so that will be a sack fly. And um, it's now 10-4. to First and second, we're going to let Jake DeGrom swing away. He's got some good stuff on his card there. And uh, he strikes out. And here is Brandon Nimmo again with two on. Hit by pitch. The bases are loaded for Alonzo again. 
And the pitch, and Alonzo, ground ball to short. Johan Camargo, not a very good third baseman. And ground out. He gets the play, and that ends the inning. But two more for the Mets. They've now scored 10 runs over the last four innings and lead 10 to 4, going to the bottom of the sixth. They are 5, 6, excuse me, 6, 7, and 8 coming up for the Braves this inning. So Camargo, who's 1 for 2 so far, ground ball to third. Ender Inciarte comes up, and he grounds out to first. That's two out. Tyler Flowers strikes out. Great inning for DeGrom. 11 Ks now. And uh, we're going to the seventh with the Mets leading 10 to 4. Here is Robinson Cano. We're going to swing away with Cano here. And he flies out to center. Michael Conforto swinging away. And 1 to 11 is a base hit. And there it is. You can see the game has ballpark and weather effects. And uh, if you look at the ratings here, if that ballpark effect comes up for this one, see good night is weather, it's a night game. 1 to 11 is a single, 1 to 9 is a home run if it comes up, and that's out of a 20-sided die. The double and triple ratings, that's, they can change. Doubles might not be doubles, they might be singles if, if a park doesn't allow too many, that type of thing. The game does uh, affect all of those changes. So, all right. Here is Wilson Ramos, and he hits a ground ball to third, and it's a double play. We're at the seventh inning stretch now, and the Mets lead 10-4, to four, and uh, 91 pitches for DeGrom so far, so he will move on to the bottom of the seventh. Matt Joyce is pinch hitting for A.J. Minter, and strikes out K number 12 for Jake DeGrom on the day. Ozzy Albies. Albies flies out to left. And Josh Donaldson, ground ball to short. DeGrom rolling right along here. All right. The new pitcher is Josh Tomlin. And uh, he faces McNeil, who's two for four. And it's a ground ball to first. Rosario, two for four with that home run. Pops up to short. And J.D. Davis, two for three with the RBI. We're going to swing away with him, and he strikes out. All right. Now it's time to go to the changes as... Davis just hit. <clears throat> we need to get a little bit better defense in this game here. So uh, we're going to make Mr. McNeil our second baseman. And uh, uh, Luis Gui, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Luis Guillorme will come in to play third base. And we need to bring in a new outfielder. And we're going to bring in Keon Broxton to play left. And we'll bring in Juan Lagares to play center. Okay, so we made our defensive changes. Let's see how Jake D does in this inning. Freddie Freeman, two for three with that home run earlier in the day. And ground ball to first, the defense, Pete Alonzo. And he could not get to the ball. So it's a base hit for Freeman. And here is Ronald Acuna. And Acuna strikes out number 13 for DeGrom. Marcakis singles first and sec first and third, excuse me. And that brings up Camargo. Marcakis doesn't go. Camargo, one to nine's a home run. It turns out to be a sack fly. So it's now 10 to 5, but there's two outs for Ender Inciarte. And Inciarte strikes out. 14 Ks for DeGrom. His night's going to be over. We're going to pinch hit for him here in the top of the ninth with Mr. Dominic Smith. And he faces Josh Tomlin. 10-5 lead. And he goes deep. Home run number one for Dominic Smith for the year. And it's 11-5 Mets. Ligaris. Fly ball to center. Out number one. Pete Alonzo. Singles to center. Keon Broxton strikes out. And Michael Conforto singles to left. And we're not going to send uh, Pete Alonzo to third with a 40% chance. And I'll give Wilson Ramos an at-bat. The Braves make a double switch. Johnny Venter's the new pitcher. And a fly out for the third out for Wilson Ramos. All right. 
So, going to the bottom of the ninth here. And uh, let's see. The Braves lineup, we have Flowers, Charlie Culberson, and Albies. Right, right, switch. So uh, I'm going to save my closer in case uh, Robert Gesellman gets in trouble. So Robert Gesellman's going to be our new pitcher. And uh, Gesellman so far this year, 2-1 and one with a 129 ERA. And uh, here's Tyler Flowers. Flowers strikes out, out number one. Charlie Culberson strikes out, out number two. Ozzy Albies, ground ball to second, and the ball game is over. Your final, the Mets 11 runs, 15 hits, no errors. Atlanta 5 runs, 8 hits, and 2 errors. Let's get our box score. And we can see here, uh, Michael Conforto went 3 for 4 with 3 RBIs. For the Braves, Freddie Freeman went, for the Mets, excuse me, Freddie Freeman went 3 for 4 for the Braves. And uh, Jacob DeGrom, 8 innings, 8 hits, 5 runs all earned. Two walks, 14 strikeouts, those three early home runs he allowed. The Mets improved to 11 and 4. Julio Tejeron, three and two thirds innings, six hits, seven runs, only two earned runs. But he takes the loss to go to 0 and 3. Uh, time of the game, three hours and 38 minutes. I'm sure the King's not very happy about that. Home runs in the game Pete Alonso, number two. Michael Conforto, number two. Ahmed Rosario, number four. Dominic Smith, the. Uh, Pinch hit home run, his first of the year. And for the Braves, Freddie Freeman, number four, Ronald Acuna, number two, and Nick Marcakis, number three. Well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you sat through 22 minutes of me babbling through a baseball game, but uh, we'll do it again sometime and uh, let's go, Mets.